Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Anoint my everything, use my everything, I release my everything, you have my everything, take all of me, all of me, you have my everything, all of me Lord, you have my everything. You have my everything Use my everything I release my everything Take my everything Say, take all of me All of me, Lord You have my everything Use all of me All of me, Lord sacrifice listen you know you have given all when there is nothing left again abraham take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest take your reputation the only one that you spent 30 years building take it to a mountain take your resources the one that you pride on Oh, it is by my strength that I'm a millionaire. By my strength, I'm a billionaire. Look what my intelligence has given me. And God says, if it's business you want to do with me, let me show you how we do business in this kingdom. I do not come to people who are strong. When my strength finds strength, it goes back. It waits until you are empty. Let me tell you this. There's nothing wrong with confession. But there is a mistake we keep making in the body of Christ. There are times, respectfully speaking, not to mock or smite it, but this blind claiming that we claim everything just like that. No. There are positive confessions, but there are foolish claims that never lead to any results. There is a real price. Not everything is a gift. There are things that are rewards. And if we do not balance this, we will continue to mock ourselves, jumping up and down, and never be able to command results. You want the spirit of wisdom lavishly at work in your life? Sacrifice. So that God can call you today. Listen, God can call you and say, help them please. He says, you are a billionaire, but I want you to leave that meeting. Come. And you say, yes sir. After all, I was dead before they even knew me. Hear me, man of God. If you want the spirit of wisdom to come upon you to command exploits in ministry, it's more than a Bible school. It's more than just hands being laid on you. Death. Sacrifice. There is nothing in my life today, I tell you sincerely by the God of heaven, there is nothing in my life today that I cannot give God. Nothing. And be careful. Don't say that because God will vet you. God take everything. He says thank you. He knows what to touch. It's easy to give Ishmael. You can say Ishmael leave. But he says it's not Ishmael I want. Take Isaac. Isaac is a symbol of your future. Isaac is a symbol of your reputation. Isaac is a symbol. The epicenter of your self-worth take it to a mountain if it's power you want in this kingdom if it's an investment of the spirit you want this one is not something you claim this one is a cup you drink and a baptism you are baptized into you want the spirit of wisdom to be at work in you the grace that subdues systems and structures dominion at a level and a frequency that confounds principalities and powers this one comes from above
I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord. Your royal majesty. Ya bone na kao. Sujada ne na kao. There is something I know about sacrifice. Sacrifice is a magnet. It can call dimensions of God. There were people who encountered wisdom at the frequency of desperation and sacrifice. Please sit down. We'll soon be praying. Let me share with you an encounter one time. I don't like to tell too much of my stories because I like for people to place their faith on the Word of God and not just the experience of a man but sometimes it's good to bring some of these encounters I remember when I was passionately praying and desperately seeking for the spirit of wisdom in my life I had seen fathers of faith I studied the largest churches in all the continents at that time and I saw profound display of wisdom in businessmen people in ministry i took out time to pray and pray and i said lord please grant by your spirit if this is true let the holy spirit reveal himself as the spirit of wisdom in this life the apostolic call has the spirit of wisdom as the principal signature more than the miraculous because of the ministry of spiritual governance and I had an encounter that night. Listen very carefully. I was, there was a long queue of people and I was serving bread. And this bread was full of honey inside. Like you put um, jam or butter or something, you know. And then there was a machine there. This was how God gave me a revelation of the spirit of wisdom. There was a machine there that was producing the bread. It came out automatic with, the, with honey, dripping with honey. And I was collecting it and I was serving people. There was a long queue. But the shock was that the people were not seeing the machine. So they were looking at me. Where is this guy getting this thing from? I kept giving them. I kept giving them. I kept giving them, I kept giving them, I was surprised myself. The machine just produces it, I pick it up and give them and they were eating, they were people who were hungry, you could look at their hunger, ravaged faces, they were there, desperate and thirsty. And that was when I knew by the Spirit that I had received an impartation of this grace. There is such a grace called the Spirit of Wisdom where god will come to you in the night and just say this is how the next five years will be just do this this is why there is no boasting no when the spirit of wisdom comes upon you your life will look deceptively slow except that one step you take under the influence of that spirit will be 10 years in one pay attention to what i'm telling you spirit of wisdom sacrifice many of us do not pay attention to the sacrifice dimension of wisdom let me give you the fourth I gave you four conditions number one passionate love for God and his agenda number two a sincere passionate desire to be a blessing number three 
sacrifice of your time your resources anything the goal of that sacrifice is to bring you to a point of surrender and death to yourself and then number four you receive this wisdom by asking of the lord first kings again chapter 3 and verse 9 four conditions you do not receive the spirit of wisdom if you do not ask give therefore thy servant an understanding heart give therefore joshua selman the spirit of wisdom to be able to effectively birth the things that you desire to be birthed through this life james chapter 1 and verse 5 still on asking asking is a very important component in the kingdom he says if any of you lack wisdom let him not let him ask of a man of god who has it no the man of god who has it is not the source of the wisdom he's only the channel that the spirit flows through the person you ask is the owner not the caretaker many of us are asking the caretakers that's not your assignment you are not called to go and look for people just by default you ask the owner lord everything belongs to you i desire the spirit of wisdom it is that owner now who knows his authorized dealers go to them that sell and buy but there must be someone who tells you go to them that sell not everybody is in need there are people who have it go to them that sell and buy if you lack wisdom ask of god that give it to all men how many men this manifestation of wisdom is not for men of god it's not for those in ministry it's not for those in business it's for everyone who seeks to see jesus revealed and glorified in and through your life that you want to accomplish you want to fulfill destiny he says he gives liberally and upbraided not and it shall be given to him because the law is for everyone that asketh he shall receive everyone that seeketh he shall find and to him that knocketh he says the door shall be opened ask of the lord there are times that you can lock yourself and pray and say father i confess before you that my life is limited the reason why my finances are down is not because of the economy the finances are down because of my belief systems there is there is the absence of wisdom even if the economy changes it will not affect me i need wisdom the reason why i am down is because wisdom has not elevated me to the throne by me kings reign and princes decree justice lord i ask you for wisdom mm. grant me the spirit of wisdom and god says i have seen your heart you love me passionately i have seen how selfless you are i've seen how sacrificial you are now let me recommend you to a place where you can get that wisdom come for koinonia and you will access the spirit of wisdom One of the ways that God exposes you to the spirit of wisdom is to bring you to the atmosphere where that spirit is at work. That's what happened to Saul in the Bible. To go to a garrison of the prophets. You just go and stand there. If you want to receive a miracle in a crusade ground, you have to go near. Go close where God is ministering. The probability of you receiving is highest when you are close there. Are we learning? praise the name of the Lord now let me wrap up before we pray very quickly the character of wisdom is such that there is a system of expressing it it's not enough to have wisdom you must know how wisdom the outworkings of wisdom I call it you must know and you must learn how wisdom manifests are we together now so even if you have received that investment of the spirit there you have to understand the dynamics of releasing the the spirit of wisdom and i want to give it to you very quickly number one wisdom 
is revealed and released in the believer through number one the sacrifice of meditation the sacrifice of meditation proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1 please understand don't confuse what we are dealing with now how do i release the wisdom that has now come i have received it but i need it to find expression through desire a man having separated himself the bible says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom wisdom is dimensional meditation can give you every dimension of wisdom divine direction is a subset of wisdom divine strategies is a subset of wisdom Daniel chapter 2, please. Let's look at Daniel chapter 2. We'll begin our reading from verse 14. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 14. Please prepare your hearts to receive. Watch this. This was when the king, the king slept, forgot his dream. Can you imagine how kings thought those days? You forget your dream, you slept by yourself on your bed, forgot your dream, and you are going to kill everybody because you are angry. Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty? That means the manifestation of wisdom takes time. Beware of hasty decisions. True wisdom allows the spirit of God to rest upon you. There is a time component to manifesting wisdom god gives speed but he's not hasty he says why is the decree so hasty from the king then ariok made the thing known unto daniel verse 16 then daniel went in listen and desired of the king that he should give him what so when you need wisdom you need time time that comes through meditation the outworkings of wisdom just give me time and I'll bring you a supernatural solution. Even though the spirit of wisdom is upon me, he does not walk carelessly. He walks with time. And that time is spent in meditation. Now watch this. He said that he should give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation. Uh huh. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Ananiah, Michelle, Azariah, his companions. Verse 18 that they would desire mercies of God, the God of heaven concerning this secret that Daniel and his followers should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon 19 hallelujah read with me then the secret was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision you see how the spirit of wisdom works meditation the sacrifice of meditation do you know that there are many non-christian sects that understand this principle they would stay for a long time with a clean sheet find out some of the top ceos of conglomerates around the world they just sit down sometimes they go on a vacation you think they are swimming around and you see them sitting under a tree or somewhere just taking the cool breeze and they are just meditating and sitting quietly and then one idea comes from heaven that that defines the next 10 years the spirit of wisdom walks through the sacrifice of meditation i cannot begin to tell you ideas things that have come by the spirit of wisdom as i sat down sometimes in the night where everywhere is silent and i just sit down i'm just playing worship like this and i'm quiet do you know the bible says be still and you will know there is a level of knowledge that comes when you are still lord i don't know how i'm going to do ministry i don't know how to go about this but i give you praise I remember I say some of these things to encourage us it's really no secret I remember when God was preparing us to start the work here one night I, I just sat down and I was just praying and then I kept quiet for more than 30 minutes and there his voice came the spirit of wisdom the Lord made me to buy the map of Abuja just a map of Abuja Nigeria Africa and the entire globe and I bought all of them 
and he said i should lay my hands and begin to pray and speak over it and speak over the territory divine strategies by the spirit of wisdom and with that childlike behavior you ask the forces over this territory what happened A territory does not just open because you have something to say. There are controlling powers. But one manifestation of the spirit of wisdom can help to keep them where they belong. This is not in an arrogant sense. Some of you did not inquire from the spirit of wisdom. You went alone to start business. You had capital and all you did was to open a shop. Don't feel bad. That's why you are here. And you just gathered goods and sat down there. And he said no. Do you not know? Let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom comes. It comes largely through scripture. You are sitting down wondering, why is my business not growing? For instance, Lord, why is this not? Write all the problems and then keep them before the Lord. Writing down the problems is proof that you expect an answer. Lord, I will wait. Speak to me. And one by one, his voice will start coming. How am I going to raise 1 billion, 10 billion for this project? And all that I have in my account, home and abroad, is 500,000. And the Holy Ghost comes with the spirit of wisdom. You don't need 10 billion. You only need men. Because money hides in men. So, don't think you cannot start the project because of money relationships are cheaper go and start learning how to build relationships the spirit of wisdom are you getting what i'm saying now and you get up and say okay lord what do i do and he says here's the deal i will grant you favor and i will connect you with gatekeepers start from there and the next thing you enter your office and a ceo that you have no business knowing and you remember that was my deal and because you have mastered relationships you understand the law of honor good afternoon sir and the spirit of god rides through your understanding and makes the man to say who are you you're a young man you look visionary what do you do he says sir well we thank god i'm, I'm still putting plans together see me tomorrow a connection has begun that will let her birth you to become a billionaire when people ask you and you say i don't know you are right but you are wrong don't tell them you don't know it's a manifestation of the spirit of wisdom one thing connecting to the other someone can sit down and your life is not moving forward and you sit down meditating lord there has to be a way no matter how long there is a way and i trust you this is why i am here suddenly the spirit of wisdom comes breathes upon you james chapter 2 and verse 26 let me tell you why you have been failing there is no spirit component to what you are doing a body without a spirit is dead your shop is only a body there is no spirit back in it your political career is only a body there is no spirit back in it oh dear politician your intelligence is only a body there is no spirit back in it so when you introduce the spirit component to anything you are doing you now give it life wisdom has come to you the sacrifice of meditation number two how do you access the spirit of wisdom luke chapter 21 and verse 15 let's look at amplify ways that you access the spirit of wisdom listen carefully is as you open your mouth to speak by faith it says i will give you a mouth and such utterance and wisdom that all of your foes combined will be unable to stand or refute there are many times you have to go by faith you are in the boardroom and now you are about to speak and wisdom works like word of knowledge you at the point you do not even know what to say yet but by faith and in the name of jesus believing you have the investment of that spirit you open your mouth and you begin to communicate things that later on you will have to listen to what you said yourself because you know you are not the one speaking this is how many people got jobs they went by faith because the spirit of wisdom was there and they had all kinds of executives sitting there and they were standing there though shaking like a leaf they believed they were not alone 
young man what do you intend to do for this company and the person does not know what to say and suddenly here he comes and boldness and you begin to speak and articulate with such level of uncanny intelligence this is what i seek to bring this is what i seek to bring and they look at you and say where have you been when you go out of that place you can't even remember what you said open your mouth and i will feel it are you learning something when you open up your mouth matthew chapter 10 please from verse 19 and 20 when you speak and you make decisions you give room for the spirit of wisdom to come up it says but when they deliver you up take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak verse 20 it says for it is not ye that speak hallelujah but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you i was in bonnie bonnie island a few maybe a month or two ago and i had a wonderful tour you know they just showed us the oldest cathedral and when they were talking about one i think it was uh, bishop joseph johnson now i think i hope i got that right and there was a pulpit there and uh, the people who were helping us with the tour were just explaining something that happened the guy prepared his notes and he was going to preach and i think something i don't know what it is that happened and maybe he lost his notes or something and he stood there he was shaking he did not know what to say and fire just came and the spirit of wisdom and revelation came upon that man and he began to speak that was how his first message came can i tell you there are times you have to close your eyes by faith and just say something you will find out that it did not come out as foolish as you thought it would be because the holy spirit edited it before it came out number three how does the outworking of the spirit of wisdom how does it work creative thinking write it down innovative and creative thinking job chapter 32 and verse 8 this is the young man Elihu speaking job 32 here's what he had to say but there is a spirit in a man or a man and the inspiration everyone please say inspiration creative thinking is powerful this is not about businessmen this is how the mind works the mind was designed to birth supernatural possibilities the moment you drop it in that atmosphere where there is an incubation of destiny altering ideas innovations creative thinking you are a leader here you're a captain of industry find time where you just move away from people and be alone and begin to think allow the holy spirit brood over your mind that's what it means to think creatively in the name of jesus christ what is the next step to this church what is the next step to this company what is the next step to preserving the purposes of god as committed to me and ideas begin to come from your spirit and then one of the ways that god brings draws out this manifestation of wisdom within us is through dreams and visions hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 please when the spirit of wisdom is at work in you do not downplay the power of dreams and visions god who at sundry times and in diverse manners listen carefully he spake in the time past unto the fathers by the prophets by the prophets so he used the prophetic he used dreams and visions i think it's um what's the scripture that says i have used similitudes i have multiplied visions similitudes you can go to bed and suddenly find yourself and the holy spirit is revealing this to you like he did to daniel in chapter 2 and verse 19 then the secret was revealed unto daniel was it not joseph that went to bed and had a dream and his whole destiny played before him i saw the sun 
the moon and 11 stars many of us lose touch we lose the opportunity to release the spirit of wisdom because when we get up with prophetic dreams and visions and encounters we do not document them let me tell you this every time you wake up and you find out that god gave you a dream that you know is prophetic you see the way dreams and visions we have a series on that the way dreams and visions work is you can see part one of that vision in 2017 and keep it the part two will come in 2022 and then you now join it and it makes sense if you do not respect the first part you will not see the second part dreams and vision seldom come complete they come in part because we see in part but you must respect the parts that god has shown you okay god told you you are getting into ministry but he did not tell you the kind of ministry he did not tell you the location he did not tell you the dimension respect the one you have seen so far write it down and start praying over it then another part will come god told you you are going to become a great politician you are going to lead nations you're going to lead territories he didn't tell you in what capacity respect the part he gave you and put it down he says write the vision write the vision before you write the vision you must receive the vision when you receive the vision your next assignment is to write it down are we blessed very very important dreams and visions now proverbs chapter 24 from verse 3 and 4 we're looking at the excellency as we prepare to pray now the excellency of possessing or working in partnership with the spirit of wisdom number one it says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established please give us verse 3 in amplified amplified it says through skillful and godly wisdom is a house a life a home a family built and by understanding it is established on a sound and a good foundation anything is built by wisdom once it has to do with building whether physically emotionally spiritually financially anything that needs to be built the architect is wisdom you cannot ignore wisdom and expect to build anything that lasts you want to build a ministry that lasts you want to build a business that lasts you want to build a kingdom influence that lasts it will come through the platform of divine wisdom now for study let's just look at one scripture first kings chapter 3 now we'll look at verse 15 then we'll start from 16 down to 28 that will be our last scripture and then we'll pray now watch this so all that was happening was a dream by the time we get to 15 solomon woke up my god spiritual things are so powerful imagine if you were solomon's friend and both of you slept on the same bed you would not know that something of destiny value he would just wake up and stretch himself except that he's not the same person who went to bed and solomon awoke and behold it was a dream and he came to jerusalem watch this and stood before the ark of the covenant of the lord and offered up bond offerings what a man he offered bond offerings for the dream to come when he woke up he offered bond offerings for it to still begin to manifest he made a feast to all his servants next verse verse 16 now this will be the first test of the presence of this dimension of wisdom there's a lesson to learn here and we round up you can know that the spirit of wisdom has come upon you in solomon's case it's about to be tested there came two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him this is a difficult situation right now and the one woman said oh my lord i and this woman dwell in one house 
and I was delivered of a child behind the house. Uh -huh. And it came to pass the third day after I was delivered that this woman was delivered also and we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house. Terrible because there is no witness now. So this is a complicated case. There's no witness. Save the two of us in the house. 19. And this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it. That means she laid on the child till the child died. Are you following this difficult puzzle now? And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me. Huh? While thy handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. Are you following the story now? And when I arose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which did bear. 22. The other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son, and the living is my son. And they spoke before the king. Hmm. Can you imagine such a situation? Two women come to you and they say, One, my child is dead. The other, now the king is about to demonstrate the all surpassing excellence of this encounter. He's about to know and test for real whether this grace had truly come. Then said the king, the one saith, this is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And the other saith, nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is the living. The spirit of wisdom. Keep this scripture there. Let me teach you something to learn. Are you seeing that the king was in a situation right now? That it was a dilemma. He was not in the room with them. And there was no witness. There was nobody to call. Only two women and their two sons. Now they are in a very serious argument. Whatever the king did at that point would go around the nation. He could lose his reputation at that point. What do you then do? There are times when the situation that stands before you defies what you know. It would defy what you studied. It would defy the physical connection. At that time, you will need to outsource the spirit of wisdom. Notice the character of the spirit of wisdom. Until the word of the Lord came, there was no way of discerning. But remember that the word of the Lord which is also this sword of the spirit is quick and powerful is sharper than any two-edged sword it is able to divide asunder the soul and the spirit and this sword that is the word is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the man immediately Solomon stood he said I am confused there has to be a yastic bring me the word the moment he carried the word the spirit of wisdom was ready to walk they brought that sword it was the sword of the spirit which is the word of God watch this that means you walk best in wisdom when you stay with the word of God the word of God reveals to you how God thinks and having the mind of Christ enhances the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom this is very powerful bring me a sword and they brought the sword before the king now the word of god started testing them watch this the first test to know the real owner watch this now the first test was the test of love and the test of selflessness because all men have self and whoever is the owner of the child must love the child more than their self greater love had no man than this than a man lay down his life for his friend so he said we are going to divide the child in two we will give half to you and half to the other in other words we are going to destroy this vision we are going to destroy this a child yet does not just talk of a human being it can mean anything destroy this vision into half give one to the other Give one to this. Verse 26. Watch this. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king. For her bowels yearned upon her son 
are you seeing compassion and love the moment the word of the lord came into the equation the love test the self test it says oh my love please i love this vision more than my reputation let my reputation die but let the vision live and the king was looking said now we are knowing the real owner the word of god is fine is filtering this i love this son do not allow this son die that I, it took me a long time to have this son and i love him more than my reputation don't worry give the woman the most important thing is let the child live let the vision live the word of god the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart and in no wise slay it but the other said let it be neither mine or dying so the real issue was not about the child the real issue was about bitterness it was about envy it was about anger that i am not succeeding so kill this person's child too so that two of us can now not have a child 27 watch this and learn and the king answered and said now that i've used the passion test now that i've used the love test now that i've used the self test this is the real owner she is the mother thereof 28 the bible says and all israel this is the thing about wisdom all israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged and they feared the king for they saw that the wisdom was of god was in him to do judgment what did they see so wisdom can be seen when the wisdom of God rests upon your life, you are not the only one who will know you have it. Everybody around you will know because of the excellence of the judgment that you have. Are you ready to pray? We have about five minutes or so and we're going to pray passionately. Listen, brothers and sisters, every destiny here is at the mercy of the manifestation of this spirit upon it I'd, I'd like you to make sure your heart is open for the next five minutes because you are going to cry many of us are at points right now in our lives our ministries different areas of our lives and the cure to break that stagnancy is the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom the cure to foolishness foolish decisions recycling of pain wisdom lift your voice and begin to thank the lord for the word that you've heard tonight there is such a thing as the spirit of wisdom someone is praying all the overflows following online please pray the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom are you praying thank you father for your word tonight Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of wisdom upon my life, upon my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Admit that you need wisdom higher than that which you have seen at work in your life. It is only those who hunger and thirst that are filled. I'd like you to pray in one minute and say father i declare my need i declare my need for wisdom that comes from above an impartation of this wisdom by the holy spirit i need it to walk in my destiny to walk in my relationships to walk in ministry to walk in governance in leadership oh. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. If any man lack results, let him ask of God. Are you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe me when I tell you there is a relation. When one accesses this level of wisdom, there is no limit to how far your results can go. You see, the thing about wisdom is just when you think you have exhausted a level another layer of that wisdom is opened it is ever increasing glory by the wisdom of to see the manifestation of the wisdom of god providing supernatural solutions lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray the wisdom 
of God. The wisdom that comes from above that is Shut up, we are going to pray. I told you the spirit of God works, the spirit of wisdom works best upon and with a man who sustains the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ means that you have adopted his value systems as revealed from scripture. You must, listen, you must be a student of scripture so that the Holy Spirit can find the tools that he will use to reveal the wisdom of God to you let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 which was also in christ jesus permit this mind to be in you you must replace your thinking with the word of god believe me when i tell you that everything around your life will revolve around your belief system the wisdom of god presents the wisest perspective on all matters there are many perspectives but the wisdom of god presents the wisest perspective on all matters you are going to pray lord a passion for the word not only to study it but to have it in me not only to study it but to have it in me to become a living epistle when satan came to jesus the fountain of wisdom he replied by saying it is written even though the holy ghost was upon him but what came out was it is written there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and make you blessed there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and make you rise there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and connect you to strange relationships there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and bring you to greater levels of the anointing of influence of power there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and bring you increase in your organization hallelujah praise the name of the lord hallelujah amen and amen now if, if you allow me to do this since I'm, I'm not here alone i'm glad and honored that apostle Goodhart is here i i didn't inform him but i, I hope you're not embarrassed I, I would want to plead with him even if it's just for a minute to just come and now that there is such an anointing here i'm going to ask him to come i'm also going to plead that reverend akila come he would just speak in one minute just declaring the word of god and the power of god's wisdom to rest upon you and then reverend akila will declare and apostle goodhart will declare and i'll just round up will that be fine please let's honor the lord as the servants of god come up very quickly praise the name of the lord these are veterans of the gospel and reverend akila is going to speak over your life just receive these are men that have been helped by God in various capacities and we trust the workings of God upon their lives and they're going to be making declarations. Reverend Akila will just speak over your life and Apostle Goodhart is going to make that declaration and then we'll just wrap up. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Our Father, we thank you for this moment we share in your holy presence. Thank you for the word that has gone forth that will not return back void. May there be now a performance of your counsel which we have received tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray God grants you enlargement to receive more of his blessings more of his word in the name of Jesus by this declaration we speak forth every Red Sea standing in front of you let it now split in the name of Jesus by the power of God we command you to walk through dry land to arrive in your promised land in the name of Jesus. Every divine equipment it takes to bring to pass the performance of the counsel of God on your life, receive in the name of Jesus. By the workings of his great spirit, 
we bring your way the very resources that it takes to fulfill all his counsel for your life in the name of Jesus by reason of the combined anointing in this place now we pray may your heavens remain perpetually open may angels ascend and descend on your matter in the name of Jesus our father and our God it takes only one encounter to change the life of any man we we'll believe that by the instrumentality of your word tonight your sons and daughters in this arena and the multitudes across the nations have had a definite encounter to bring about a change in our lives father thank you for divine suddenly from the first day of August in the year 2021 we decree and declare the change has come upon your people in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ as your hand came upon one Elijah and guaranteed divine acceleration guaranteed divine impetus guaranteed divine speed and gave such a one divine advantage by your hand that has come by the release of your word we decree and declare divine advantage upon this house in the name of the lord jesus christ by your mercy let the remaining five months of this year be the best of this year in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare that the sound of jubilation the sound of celebration the sound of rejoicing will abide abound in our homes in the name of the lord jesus christ by the power of the speakings of your blood we decree and declare no occasion for tears no occasion for sorrow no occasion for fears in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ somebody clap those hands hallelujah praise the name of the lord now just standing still under this anointing i decree and declare in the name of jesus according to the measure of grace the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom that the Lord has so lavishly brought upon this ministry I decree even as we have received from those who have gone ahead of us in the name that is above all names receive from tonight the spirit of wisdom receive an impartation of the spirit of wisdom let it begin to manifest as extraordinary results in your life the grace to make quality superior decisions that move you forward receive that grace in the name of jesus by this impartation every mountain and every obstacle that stands before you in the name that is above all names we declare it shattered right now because you have believed i declare that you will begin to see it happen now Amen. that everyone around you will know for a shorty that you encountered the spirit of wisdom tonight Amen. hear me in your place of prayer as you meditate many of you the holy ghost will come to you like a mighty rushing wind he will show you the secrets of your destiny he will reveal to you the strategies and the blueprint for the next level of your life in the name of jesus and i declare that under the influence of the spirit of wisdom may 10 years be put in one month under the influence of the spirit of wisdom may 10 years be put in one month that by the end of august many of you would have made tremendous destiny advancements in the name of jesus christ oh may your ears hear a voice from behind 
saying this is the way walk ye in it and that you find rest by it for your souls in the name of jesus christ the lord will give you a wisdom he will give you a mouthpiece that no one can gain say nor resist in the name of jesus christ in your place of work your homes your ministries may men say what wisdom is this in the name of jesus christ the mighty works that accompany the spirit of wisdom may they begin to happen in your life from tonight and the rewards that follow wisdom in the name that is above all names may those rewards come upon you and overtake you in the name of jesus christ father we agree as a family of faith and we agree as the body of christ over this city over this nation over this continent that in a fresh dimension let there be an outpouring and a manifestation of the manifold wisdom of god according to ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 to the intent that now let it be revealed by the church to principalities and powers the manifold wisdom of god lord this wisdom will be revealed in politics and governance and leadership and finances and relationships and career in the name of jesus christ every aspect of the believer's life will begin to excel on account of this baptism with the spirit of wisdom receive it now in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's honor and celebrate the servants of god thank you sir thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. My hands. The greatest wisdom that a man can show is to run to the fountain of wisdom himself. The Bible says, Thou art the fountain of wisdom. It says, In thy light we see light anyone who is not led by the fountain of wisdom is still in darkness there are people here following online and there are people scattered within this auditorium and all the auditoriums down to the basement some of you may be saying apostle i have heard you speak and i know that i need an encounter with jesus the fountain of wisdom or there are some of you who are saying i love jesus with all my heart but as it is right now I need to rededicate my life, my ways to him. You may have come from far and near. Let's minimize movement. I'm about to make the altar call. Wherever you are, we have just a minute or two for you. I'd like you to run and just come and stand here as we celebrate the Lord for your life. It is because of you the Lord put this meeting. Do not wait for someone to come win that war tonight. Are there people coming? Celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. Anyone? Listen don't sit back and say um i i think i am all right the moment listen the moment jesus is not lord of your life you cannot access wisdom celebrate them as they come koinonia is this the best you can do run to jesus who is the fountain of wisdom the bible says if any man lack wisdom let him ask of the lord the first wisdom is to receive the free gift of his life translating you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son if you're still coming come quickly if you're still coming come quickly young and old alike come to jesus for as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away the bible says all the overflows just stand in front of your screen for time and those following you who is following in your home your office your living room i'd like you to be prepared to pray this prayer also i salute every one of you for coming to jesus he never sends people away that you have come to him is proof that you are not a rebel rebels don't come to jesus they run away from him 
hallelujah lift your right hand every one of you standing in front and i'd like you to say this prayer after me you're not reciting a poem jesus is here say after me lord jesus if you're joining them please quickly come say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight i declare that you are and you remain my savior my lord and my king i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life now and forever amen keep your hands lifted father we thank you for these ones you have brought them by your spirit they have come to the fountain of wisdom jesus himself i decree and declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven in the name of jesus from tonight the lord gives you a new beginning and i decree and declare that you are recipients of the life of god you are part of the family of faith and from today i declare that you go for whatever and backward never in the name of jesus christ amen and amen thank you for making this wonderful decision now there are counselors waving the placard there i'd like you to please just follow them and there'll be a few people who will just talk to you koinonia please celebrate them celebrate every one of them the little one someone just help them make sure that there's someone watching over them praise the name of the lord hallelujah now please i i intended Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.